today. Now, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Wow. She paid 50 for it and took a best offer of $1,100. Bolo? Bolo. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos. What's a bolo? A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item as a reseller that you should be searching for when you're out at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, YouTube auctions, wherever you source. These are items to be on the lookout for. So I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, this was posted in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It looks like this. It's Share Your Best December Bolo. And this is my Facebook group. We are getting really close to 80,000 um, members. Holy cow. Um, if you join, be nice. And if you see people being mean, report it. The group is getting crazy big and I need your help. <laughs> All right, so let's get started here with the first Bolo. And if you hear me shout out a YouTube channel or an eBay store, that means they are a member of my YouTube channel and they have signed up to get perks. So um, otherwise, everybody else is anonymous and I just share the bolo, but everyone is welcome to share their bolo. And you should be able to go to the group and look for share your best January bolo very soon. So be sure to go share a bolo. All right. Let's start with the first one. It says paid $5 at an estate sale and sold for $89 with shipping and handling. And this one comes from PNW Flips. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. And this is a Department 56 Snow Village House Mountain Lodge. Says first year. So these Department 56, I will tell you, they range from bread and butter to big money. But if you see them, definitely look them up. Okay, this next one. Got this in a collection that came into my shop. Was a trade item. So gave 50 in inventory for it. Took an offer of 130. There are about four vehicles from this series that are bolos. The rest of them are bread and butter. Okay, so this comes from one of the guys in the Facebook group who um, is very, very big on toys, super knowledgeable. So whenever he posts or I have a question about toys, I always tag him. So this is his bolo right here. It's a Star Wars Micro Machines Action Fleet Imperial Defender Ship with Pilot. And you know, I was just doing a mystery uh, box that I bought from Auctions for You. And it was a toy box. And it had some like miscellaneous parts in it. And I was like, how on earth am I going to identify these? And one of them on the side, it said Action Fleet Star Wars. So it's probably a part to one of these things. But mine definitely was a bigger piece. It wasn't a micro machine. So good to know there. All right. Got this plane, Ben's Bingo at the Goodwill Outlet. This is from Nina's Jewels, and um, she's not a Bolo Buddies member, but she did participate in the Ben's Bingo, so I am gonna shout her out because her video was absolutely incredible. Her and her husband went in, and you wanna talk about full-time entertainment during the video, go check it out right here. But um, she said, we averaged out our cost of goods that day at $1.18 per item. It sold in less than a week on offer to buyer for $169.98. Some Peter Millar is not a bolo, but the Peter Millar Masters merchandise is a bolo, and most pieces are worth well over $100. Look for the Masters embroidery. And this is the shirt right here. Um, it's kind of a, looks like a quarter zip. Let me see what she wrote here. Masters Peter Miller Men's Large Blue Houndstooth Embroidered One-Fourth Zip Pullover. So there you go. Ben's Bingo. Hashtag Ben's Bingo. If you want to see everybody that participated in this, this was open to anyone. And you know what? It's still open. If, if, if you're a YouTuber and you want to be a part of the Ben's Bingo, I have a Ben's Bingo card. It's a bingo card 
on my community page. You can go and print that out. You can go and find the items, watch some of the other videos to see how it works. And you can create a video and hashtag it Ben's Bingo. Reach out to me, send me the video link, and I will share it out for you. And we're just going to keep this hashtag Ben's Bingo going. So it is a lot of fun. Um, and it, if you don't have a YouTube channel, it can be your very first video because anyone can do it. Super fun. Purchased at an antique shop for $3. Sold auction within one week of listing for $39. And this one comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313. This is her eBay store. And what's fun about this is it's vintage tobacco tins. It says Kentucky Club Greenbrier London Dock 2.5 inch lot of six empty tins. Right there. Right there you have it. So um, a lot of times these things get tossed and you can sell them for money. Purchased in a toy bag from a thrift shop for $2.00. Two dollars? Dollars? <laughs> for two dollars. Average cost sold. Um, sold in a month for 97 on Etsy. She had some imperfections that were disclosed in the listing. And this is also from Dare to Dream Big 1313. She is the bubble cut midge Barbie doll. Yellow outfit matching bow by Mattel from the 1960s. And $97 is what she sold for. Get you a close up there. And that was on Etsy. I bought two of these new at a yard sale for 15 for both. Took about three weeks to sell this one. Other is still listed. Got full asking price of $89.99 plus shipping. All right, this is a shark bands, two magnetic shark repellent bands, swimming, surfing, diving, snorkeling. I, have no, I have, still have no clue what it is, but I guess the person buying it knew what it was. Um, he said, update, the second one sold today, got full asking price of $89.99 plus shipping. So that is incredible. Here's another one he had. He said, trash picked two of these very 1990s ski boot tote bags. This one just sold for $24.99 plus shipping. It is a vintage 90s... Um, Salomon Club Ski Boot Bag Gear Shoulder Tote Neon Purple Teal Retro. And he sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, so very, very uh, cool item here. And just a bread and butter bolo. I'm surprised it didn't go for more than that, actually. But what did he say he paid for it? Oh, he, he trash picked it. <laughs> that makes it even better, right? All right. Bought this from an indoor yard sale. Looked like a hoarder's house. Paid $20 with a few more items. Just sold today for $175 plus shipping. It is a drone type Star Wars Millennium Falcon remote control. And it's new open box. So $20 into $175. All right, I got a plushie for you. Bought this plush for $3 at the Goodwill. Sold on auction for $145 plus shipping, and the item was paid for right away. You got to love that. It is a Build-A-Bear Sanrio My Melody stuffed plush doll with no clothing or costume. And this is what it looks like. At first, I thought it was a Hello Kitty, but it's a My Melody. Hmm. But Sanrio also does Hello Kitty, so... um. Definitely, uh, those some of those Build-A-Bear, I have a video on Build-A-Bear that go for big money. The Rebel Reseller did one. Uh, definitely check those out because some of them go for crazy money, but a lot of them are just bread and butter. Okay, this one comes from Mindful Recycle Terry, and she is a huge money bolo finder. Um, she is also a moderator of the group, so go and sub her up. And all of the people that I'm talking about that I'm telling you are members, they will be linked down in the description of the video to include their YouTube channel if they have one and their eBay stores. Um, I highly recommend that you follow these eBay stores. You can click on that little heart and that's going to alert you when they post new items. This is going to help you learn and you might just find something that you want to buy. <laughs> all right. So what did Terry find? Terry said, bought this at a family-run estate along with 40 other Department 56. I've had it listed for about five months for $1,300. <laughs> she paid $50 for it and took a best offer of $1,100. And the buyer paid the shipping. 
Um, her eBay store is also Mindful Recycle, and it will be linked down below. You definitely want to check out what she's selling. She is incredible. Um, Empire State Building Department 56 Historical Landmark Series. So again, a Department 56. Bought at a yard sale for a dollar. Put it on auction starting bid of 25. My buy it now price was 100. A gentleman in California offered 60, which I graciously accepted. Only had it listed a few weeks. eBay store is follow me for fantastic finds. It is a signed, unique, abstract clay footed vase. Okay, so as you can see right here in the screenshot, it says $25. The reason it says that is because she started the auction at $25 and she accepted a best offer. So when that happens, eBay does not update the listing to show the sold price of the $60. Instead, it looks like this sold for $25. So Again, it's kind of like if something sells for best offer, we really just don't know what it sold for. But this isn't slashed through. There's nothing indicating that it didn't sell for 25. So it's a little bit hard when you're searching comps, to be honest, on to know what things are really selling for. I wish eBay just was full transparency on these things and just, just showed us. If the best offer was taken, just show us what the best offer was. What, what did the item sell for? Okay. Bought this at the Goodwill for $2 last year. Listed it about a month ago. Uh, bought it how long ago? Okay. Bought this at the Goodwill for $2 last year. Listed about a month ago. Sold full asking price for $129. Okay. I don't know about you, but I am so guilty of, I'm going to buy this and then I'm just going to sit it over here and list it eventually. She had it for a year and listed it a month ago and it sold right away for $129. She has had a bolo sitting in her money pile. Um, this one comes from... Give me a second. Noni's? I think it's Noni's. <laughs> Noni's Treasure House. I always, I'm like, is it Noni's or Noni's? <laughs> I think it's Noni's, like no knees. <laughs> Oh, uh, she gave me a hint to remember and I just forgot. So anyhow, this is her eBay store. This is a, another word I can't say. Saworski Crystal Christmas, or yeah, Christmas Ball Ornament Annual Edition 2018 Shooting Star. Uh, so there it is, $129.99 um, sold price. All right, th this one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel, and her eBay store is the same. It is a rare Frosty the Snowman Jimmy Snow Globe musical Christmas with Snow, and it is waterless. And she got this at a thrift store for $5, and the buyer paid full price of $58.99 plus shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for Jimmy products. It's G-E-M-M-Y. A lot of them are animated, make sound, do things, function. Um, always a pickup for me. Here's another one from Mom Knows Treasures. She paid $3.99 at the Salvation Army and it sold in six months for full price of $78.28. It is Mina Studio Uno 66 UNS 15501 UA International. Don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a record. She likes to sell records, but this is what it looks like. Maybe somebody knows. All right, let's move on to the next one here. Bought these K U I U. K U I U. I'm thinking here how I'm going to pronounce this. K-U-I-U. -U. Like, how do you sound that out? Kui? Kuu? Hunting pants from the Salvation Army for $8. Sold for full asking price of $189.96 plus shipping within 30 days. She said, we are new to reselling. This was the second thing we ever posted. I love this group and the YouTube channel. We have learned quickly what would have probably taken years without these resources. Thanks so much. All right, so... I just learned something from her because I have never heard of this brand ever. Um, they're men's pants. They are size 42. Um, Axis hybrid pants, gunmetal gray, hunting, outdoor, waterproof. $189.96. That's incredible. 
All right, here's another one from that big money bolo finder, Terry, from Mindful Recycle. I mean, when I tell you she's a bolo finder, she sold the last item for $1,100. let us see what she sold this one for. Purchased two of these at an estate sale a few months ago. Brand new, never opened from the 90s. Listed them for $799. Someone reached out with the best offer of $640. She paid $135. Buyer paid shipping. Just got the second one listed for $799. I think she already sold the second one. Um, I just watched one of her recent videos on, and she talked about this. Go check out her channel. I'm telling you, if you want to learn about the big money stuff, woo. But she also sells bread and butter, but she's incredible. I purchased this set of Neil, the frog spice jars and rack. It's original box from Salvation Army for $2.00. Sold within 45 minutes for $260 plus shipping. Oh my goodness. Doesn't $2, $2 into $260. Wow. Wow. Those are really cute. I cannot believe that the thrift store had it that cheap. That's incredible. Wow. Okay. A lot of these, this is the first time I'm seeing them as I'm reading to you. So um, some of them are just amazing. Okay, this one comes from Butterfly Hustles. This is her YouTube channel. And she purchased at the Goodwill Bins, paid approximately 75 cents, and took a best offer of $39.99 for it. It is a linen tunic shirt by Sigrid Olsen. This is what it looks like. And her eBay store is Turquoise Butterfly. And Carol does a lot of clothing and she takes you thrifting with her on her YouTube channel. So um, you'll really get to see how she sources, but she finds some incredible things. And she sources a lot at a place called Value Village. This one, she paid $3 and took a best offer of 48. It's a vintage, here's another one I've never heard of, Panache, P-A-N-A-C-H-E, cashmere sweater and i think you know anything cashmere is probably going to do well okay love this one bought at the goodwill paid a dollar took a best offer of 36 dollars and 58 cents it's a vintage 1997 slap sticks by cast art nurse with clown and it kind of got cut off but look at this um so i can't read the whole title but we've got the photo there all right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, uh, eBay store found by chance. And this is what it looks like. Again, all of the eBay stores and YouTube channels are linked below. Definitely check them out. She said, I bought a small baggie of vintage mini dinosaur toys on 50% off day at an estate sale. I spent $4 for 24 pieces. I found a Mark Silver pot-bellied T-Rex in there. It ended up costing about 17 cents. I sold it on eBay for a best offer of 33 on promoted listing. Not bad for 17 cents. All right, you guys, if you watch my channel, you know that I love, love, love bread and butter bolos. Uh, things that I pick up super cheap that I sell for $35 or less. I have tons of my what sold videos that are all about my bread and butter. This is something that I love to sell. I get super excited about the $30 ones. You know, when you can get it for a dollar or less and sell it for 30 and they're easier to find, it's just incredible. So definitely be on the lookout. I've never seen this guy before. Vintage Mark style, Trianosaurus Rex dinosaur, pot bellied, dark silver, gray toy. So very, very cool. And she put, now I see I misspelled vintage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. Don't worry, I can't talk. <laughs> like, literally, I can't pronounce things. So you're okay if you misspell vintage. All right, let's go on to the next one here. Hi, I sold a lot of 20 Deluxe Cuts color blocking templates for scrapbook pages for $50 on Mercari. These are just plastic templates you use as a guide for placing photos, stickers, and papers on scrapbook pages. They are plastic and reusable. I paid about $2 for all of them. They were listed for about three weeks. I see these with scrapbook stuff a lot at estate sales and garage sales. I also see them at the Goodwill bins. Wow, check that out right there. That is interesting. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with those. I wish I had a better close-up picture. 
of what exactly those look like, but they look like they're kind of in the shape of a square. And then maybe, hmm, I don't know. Okay, this is another one by, uh, from Found by Chance. And this one you may know about, I've talked about it before. But she says, I bought this at an estate sale for $5, listed it for $105.96 and sold it for full asking price, customer paid shipping, all in for $131.60. And it's the electronic 1989 Mall Madness game. All right, but this Mall Madness, it has been a bolo for over a year for sure. This just happened. I saw an ad for one of my local thrift stores, 50% off sale, and saw a Budweiser can lamp that I wanted to get my uncle for Christmas. It was marked 10, so it was five. It came with an old light bulb featuring a local university he wouldn't be interested in, so I thought maybe I could make my money back. I recently saw a YouTube video about... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it Aerolux light bulbs and figured out that's what it was. Looked up comps and decided to price high since it seemed rare. Guess I didn't price it high enough. Within two hours, had an offer of 200 and within four hours, it sold for full asking price of 250. I'm super happy with my sale. Yeah, that is incredible. Yeah, these um, light bulbs, they are just... There's something. I know uh, Jesse Shops, uh, you definitely want to follow Jesse Shops on Instagram. She's also on YouTube. She is just a ray of sunshine. But I believe she had some of these that she was selling on consignment. And that's where I first heard about them was on her Instagram post. And wow, she was selling them for big money also. So definitely go check out Jesse Shops. Uh, so let's see. It says Southern U University Fighting Jaguars. Uh, SBCU col college it. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> Paid $6 at Goodwill, listed it that night and sold in an hour for 80 plus shipping. It is, as time goes by, the complete original series DVD. It's got 11 DVDs in it and it is factory sealed. So, um, Anytime uh, it's a series or a set of DVDs, definitely look those up. Some of them may surprise you. As time goes by, I never heard of this, uh, but it was factory sealed. So I pretty much, if I'm at the Goodwill Bins and it's sealed, I usually pick it up because media is so cheap at our bins. And even if it's a bread and butter, I'm still going to make money, you know? So Maybe I'll get lucky and find as time goes by. <laughs> I probably would have walked right past that. But if it was sealed, I may have picked it up. I paid $150 from a private seller on Facebook. Sold for $325 on eBay. Now, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. So, one of the biggest issues in my Facebook group is when somebody types in something about Beanie Babies. I found these Beanie Babies today. Is it worth $6 million? I found these Beanie Babies. What should I sell them for? These Beanie Babies, Beanie Babies. And everybody is like, <sighs> and they start attacking. They start attacking. And they start attacking. And it's not necessary. Just scroll. If you don't have something nice to say and you don't want to help the person, just scroll. Um, we all know that Beanie Babies are not going for $10 million or $10,000 or $8,000. You know, all of these crazy comps that you see when you put them in and you search high to low, you're going to see crazy solds. It's not happening. But this one, this one is happening, okay? She paid $150 for it, so she knew it was a bolo, and she sold it for $325. It is a uh, Ty, I always say T-Y, Ty Beanie Baby, Aaron, Missing Shamrock, and it says M-W-M-T, no clue what that means, M-Q, Authenticated. How'd I do? Kind of okay. $325 bucks for a Beanie Baby! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I just said that. $325. All right. You can all sleep good tonight knowing that Beanie Babies can still go for big money. Maybe not $5,000, maybe not $10,000, but there are some out there that can still go for over $100. So that's pretty cool, I think. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I don't know how many that was. Uh, there were over 300 comments on this post. So there is going to be a series this month of best December bolos. So stay tuned. Turn on that little bell and that will alert you when I post new videos. If you're new here, thanks for being here. If you've been here a while, thank you so much um, for putting up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. She listed it after a month. Uh, let me start again.